control the return address and the arguments. This time you'll need to control the arguments, the function you return to. Can you get the flag from this program? You can view the source here. Try using GDB to print out the stack once you write to it. That seems more than I might need. Okay. Okay, so I just need to call win and I need to give it cafe food and food food. All right, so I know it's this. Uh, let's check what we've got here. So we have this program. Let's just check what kind of thing it is. All right, so it's 32 bit executable. That means that these parameters will need to be passed on the stack. All right, there's my address for win. Um, let's go ahead and look at Vulm. All right, so it looks like Here's that, so that's, what is that? Six times 16 is 96 plus 12 is 108. And then we have these four, so I need 112 characters. So, 112 A's, then we're going to need that return address, which was here. In little ending in order, so we need to reverse it. Okay, so then when a function gets called, we're actually returning to it, but it's it thinks it's been called. So it needs a return address of its own. So I'm just going to put four Qs there because we don't care about that return address. And then we needed cafe food and food food. So Cafe food. And then food food. And we'll throw in a new line for good measure. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, that's Python 3, so I can't just print import sys, sys. Standard out buffer right. And where am I sending this? Over here, port 54, 356. And arguments for days. And there's my flag. 